Today, we're talking about failure. Brothers, it's time to find out what you're made of. I believe it's our responsibility as men to do better every day, to learn from our mistakes, grow through our failures, and work to become the best that we can be. So today on Mink in the Morning, we're going to talk about failure. And I want to talk about it because it doesn't matter who you are or where you're going. On your path in this life, you're going to come face to face with failure again and again. And the only way you're going to get where you're going is if you have the courage to overcome failure, to fight through it, to persevere. And so today I want to talk about it. I want to go deep. But before we get there, I want to share a video with you. Growing up, I was a huge basketball fan. Michael Jordan was my favorite player, and he came out with a commercial that has inspired me for almost my entire life. And it's the perfect way to start this topic of failure. Let's roll it. I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. I fucking love that commercial. I love it because he says, I have failed over and over and over and over again in my life. And that is why I succeed. And the truth is, brothers, it doesn't get any more real than that. If you're going to accomplish anything in life worthwhile, anything noteworthy, anything worth value, you're going to have to fail to get there. And how you face failure is likely, not likely, is guaranteed to determine where you go and how far you get on this pursuit in life. So before we get into it anymore, I wanted to share some failures with you guys. So what I did is I pulled up a list of some of the most epic failures because I want all of us, I want this video, I want Mink in the Morning, I want everything that we do here at Live Bearded to just be a daily reminder, a daily bit of encouragement and inspiration because all of us are a work in progress. And this idea of failure is probably one of the biggest obstacles we have to overcome as men. So check this out guys. There is an author by the name of J.K. Rowling. Some of you might know who she is, some of you might not. But she was literally a single mother on welfare. welfare, welfare. And here's what happened. She decided to write a little book, a book called Harry Potter. She went from being on welfare to being a billionaire because she had an idea, because she was willing to overcome and fight through her failures. Steve Jobs, famous founder of Apple, he created this phone I'm holding right here. He started Apple and then was fired from the company. He was fired because his board of directors didn't like his vision. And then 12 years later, they brought him back. And he took the company from near bankruptcy to being the most profitable and successful company in the history of the world. And he was quoted by saying, I didn't know it or like it then, but getting fired was the best thing that ever happened to me. You see, brothers, if you can bring awareness to your failures, if you can embrace them, if you can face your failures head on, what ends up happening is they become some of your best moments, some of your biggest inspirations, some of the best motivation you could ever ask for in life. So Steven Spielberg, one of the greatest film producers of all time, get this, he was not accepted to film school, not once, but twice he was denied. He was rejected from film school twice. So Howard Schultz, the CEO and founder of Starbucks. So he had this idea for Starbucks and he needed some capital to make it happen. And he got turned down by 217 investors. 217 people said, no, I will not invest into your idea. I'll tell you what, you gotta have some giant fucking balls to get turned down 217 times. And now Starbucks is arguably one of the biggest companies in the world because this guy did not say, okay, I failed, it's over, I'm done. He looked at failure in the face and he said, no motherfucker, I ain't stopping. 
There's nothing that's going to hold me back. Powerful. What are you willing to hear no to 217 times? Jack Canfield, this, I freaking love this one. Jack Canfield is the author of Chicken Soup for the Soul. Now he got rejected from publishers 144 times. He took his book, Chicken Soup for the Soul, to 144 different publishers and they all said, no, this won't sell. No, this is shit. No, I won't publish it for you. When he finally did get a publisher to publish it, it went on to sell 500 million copies all around the world in 20 different languages. Absolutely incredible. Here's the last one I'll share with you. It's uh, about Sylvester Stallone, Rocky. So early on in Sylvester Stallone's career, before he had ever made it, he was broke and homeless and an aspiring actor. And he would wait in the lobby of film producers and studios and talent agents for hours and hours and hours. And he was denied over 1,500 times People said, no, you can't play this role. No, you're not good enough. You talk funny. You'll never be an actor. But he believed in his vision so much that he doubled down and he decided to commit everything that he had to it. So much so that he went broke and became homeless. He sold his wife's wedding ring and his dog. His best friend in the world, he sold his dog at a liquor store for $25 because it was the winter in New York City and he was freezing cold and he needed some money to turn on the electricity. So what happens? One day, he sees a boxing match going on, and he gets inspired, and he sits down and he writes the entire script of Rocky in one sitting. This is as the story goes. Writes the entire script, and he's shaking, he's so excited, he knows this is the thing. And he goes to all of those same talent agents and movie producers that have rejected him, and he starts trying to sell his script and sell his script. And everyone's saying, no, it's no, it's sappy, it's no good. And then finally he finds a producer that loves it and wants to buy it. And he says, I'll give you $50,000 for the script. And, and Sylvester says, okay, but I'm Rocky. And the guy goes, no, 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 you're not an actor. You're a direct, you're a writer. And he goes, no, 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 I'm a writer and an actor. And he's like, look, I'll pay you 50 grand for the script, but you're not acting in it. He says, no way. And he walks away from 50,000 fucking dollars being broken homeless. And this is like, 45 years ago, that's worth hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars today. A little bit while later, the producer calls him back and says, look, we really want your script. We'll give you 100,000 for it. He says, nope, I'm not selling it to you unless I star in it. The producer calls him back. We'll give you 200, we'll give you 300, we'll give you $325,000 for your script not to star in the movie. He says, no, I am Rocky. He knew what the fuck he wanted. He didn't care what was going on. He was going to persevere in the face of failure at all odds, no matter what. So finally, the producer calls him back and says, here's the deal. I'll give you $35,000. And if this movie does well, I'll give you a percentage of sales. And we all know what happened. Rocky went on to sell $200 million dollars. I, I literally get goosebumps in my body thinking about it because this dude, he knew what he wanted. He didn't give up. And I share this with you, brothers, because we all have this power of perseverance. If we're willing to look at failure in the face and say, fuck you, I will not give up. I will not be denied. But here's the challenge, brothers. Most of you want to take the easy way out. Most of you aren't willing to put in the work to face your fears, to overcome the obstacles, the haters, and the doubt. And there's this paradox in life, and the paradox is, if you do the easy things in life, life is hard. But if you're willing to do the hard things, if you're willing to overcome the fear, the doubt, the insecurities, the limiting beliefs, if you're willing to persevere no matter what, life is hard, but then it becomes easy. Because all that hard work, all that perseverance creates a character in you that is irreplaceable. And that character creates an incredible life and an incredible future. Brothers, I share this with you today because I want to remind you, you are fucking powerful. You have the opportunity to do and be and to create anything that you want. But it starts in here and in here. 
And you've got to be willing to look at failure. You've got to understand that failure and success are two sides of the same coin. And the more you flip that coin, the more times it lands on failure, the closer you are to success. So get out there, kick some ass, and I'll see you guys next week.